Spaced repetition notion templates are so useful that I wanted to revisit them and make them a bit smarter than before. These new entries take into account a starting date when you begin your repetition process for a specific topic or class and an exam date when all efforts, blood and tears should pay off. Given those two parameters, these templates will automatically adjust the repetitions depending on the days left before the exam and how confident you feel about the topic. We will see the different property used and the formulas behind it so that you will be able to build the same thing by yourself. If you want to support the channel and this kind of content, these smart repetition templates will be available together with the other spaced repetition templates I did before in one complete package you can purchase on Gumroad, link in the description for the small price of a coffee. If you already got the previous spaced repetition templates, you will just find the new ones in the same Notion page. Clarifications aside, let's see how all of this works and get ready for some serious study. What we have here are three different setups. Um, increasingly um, hard or more complex. We will see all of them and how they work. Uh, the last one it's the more feature complete one and it basically combines both of the previous ones. The first one here, the smart spaced repetition, uh, takes into account the start date and the exam date and uh, automatically uh, adjusts the next repetition date depending on the days remaining and the number of repetitions remaining. So we have of course the name of the different notes or classes or call them whatever you want. We have the start date, we have the exam date and we have five different checkboxes for the different repetitions and then we have one single formula that does all the job. If we take a look at it we will see that we will start from the fourth repetition and go all way until the first repetition. The final repetition is not used inside the formula because Everything it does, it's just uh, hiding the notes when we check it. So it's just uh, a filter for us in this view so that we will find all the completed um, notes, classes and topics in another view just for the completed ones. Back to the formula, let's see how it works. If the first repetition is true, an alternative to write this will be double equal and set it to true. But this is the same, so in this case we can make our formula cleaner just deleting this text and keeping just the property and its name. So if our fourth repetition is true, we want to subtract uh, a number of days from the exam date. In regard of our first repetition, I wanted to make the things simpler and I decided that our final repetition needs to be just the day before the exam. So. When the first repetition is checked, so we already did our first one and only the final repetition remains, we want to subtract just one day from the exam date. Let's move it on for now. So if we move to the third repetition, when the third repetition is checked, we want to subtract from the exam date a variable number of days. 
So we are using the seal function in order to get a full number, an integer. If this operation here gives us um, a float, a number with decimals, we will seal it to the higher full number available. So our operation here is the, the following. We will divide the number of days between our exam date and our start date by 3. So we have different functions inside other functions, so I, I believe it's a bit confusing at first. As I already told you, we are dividing the number of days between the exam date and the start date. And we are dividing all of these by 3. The result is sealed, so we are sure we have a full number. And that full number is the number of days that will lead us to our fourth repetition. We are calculating the date between the exam date to the start date and not the opposite because in this way we will always have a positive number because the exam date will always be greater than the start date. If we move to the second repetition it's the same, exactly the same, so if the second repetition is checked we will subtract from the exam date a specific number that is calculated by dividing the date between the exam date and the start date by 1.6 and the number of days resulting from here will be subtracted from the exam date. And just to reiterate, for the first repetition the process is the same. If the first repetition is checked, we want to subtract from the exam date a sealed divided date between the exam date and the start date and we want to divide it by 1.2 in this case and the resulting number of days are then subtracted to the exam date. I came up with these numbers, you can play with them so you can adjust the behavior of the different repetitions. These are just the values that I found work quite well in this situation. And moving to the last part of the formula, we finally have to declare when everything of the above cases is not is false, what happens? Well, um, the only case remaining is when, like here, none of the repetition is checked. And when this happens, we just want to add one day to the start date. So the first repetition will always be the day after the first repetition. You can of course change that and repeat the formula snippet for the first repetition for example and just adjust this number here. A couple of things to keep in mind when writing formulas in Notion is always to put the commas in the right place at the right time and to put as many parentheses as needed. Um, particularly at the end of the formula usually you have to write a lot of them to close all the different snippets of code and functions inside it. So when everything is done, we can click here and test it out. Here we have our next repetition. We have a, a blank slate here for the first note. We started studying it yesterday and today it's the date for the next repetition. We studied enough for today so we can check it. Another day comes, 
we finish study and then the second repetition is done and it's moved to the 26 and then we finish the third and it's moved to the 30 of January and then the first repetition is done and as planned our last final repetition is always at the day before the exam and so on we can just move the date of the exam and everything will adjust accordingly and I think we can move to the second template here in this case we are using retention we have a retention select with just some fancy colored books so we will use this visual feedback in order to specify how prepared we feel about this topic this will be used to check the topics we completed how this is done well everything is inside this retention matrix so we are taking these retention select properties and apply to them a numeric value again we are using the seal here to get a full number out of the calculations and in this case we are sealing the whole formula and inside this ceiling we are saying that if the retention is four green books we can divide the date between the exam date and the start date just by two because we feel quite confident so we don't need to have many repetitions but if the property retention is equal to three yellow books we don't feel so well prepared so we will divide the date between the exam date and the start date by three and if we don't apply any of those retentions we will just put a number zero here in the retention matrix but the objective here is of course to apply at least a level of retention for every notes every class or every topic and once we have these um, numbers from the retention matrix we can use them to calculate the next repetition date by adding the retention matrix number to the start date in this case the system is nice to use but it's not super smart so every time you finish a repetition you will have to update the start date with the actual next repetition the retention matrix it's actually a property column we can hide once you set it up so here in this last smart spaced repetition with the retention um, setup we combine both the retention and the different checkboxes for the different repetitions and we also take advantage of a start date and the exam date in order to smartly adjust the next repetition date so the formula used are similar to the previous one we already saw this retention matrix here it's exactly the same as the previous one the only things that change are the values used for the different steps these again are numbers i came up testing and i find that work quite well but you can change them accordingly to your needs or how you feel so what's really changed here is the next repetition formula it's again pretty similar to the previous one we saw in the first setup 
but instead of um, dividing the date between the exam date and the start date by a fixed number we are taking into account the retention metrics and mixing it with other values here we are always evaluating how we feel about our retention for that specific topic and we are dividing that number for a fixed amount we decide here depending on the days left and the uh, repetitions left so whenever we are going further away from the exam date we are dividing more and more in order to have a smaller number every time so that the resulting date is always closer and closer to our start date in this case the result of all of this is that um, both the number of repetitions and uh, the retention affect the next repetition date i find this system super handy and super nice to use because it combines the strength of both the previous uh, setups and combine them nicely if we update the different dates to some current ones um, we can test also the other views for example we can see that in the today's repetitions we have the note 2 uh, scheduled we can see that um, we have our repetition calendar so we can take a look at the different repetitions in the coming future and then we have the completed view and if we go back to the main view we can play around with it change the retention change the number of the repetition and everything will change accordingly the next repetition date will adjust we can hide also here the retention metrics we don't need to see it so these are the smart spaced repetition templates so this was the smart repetition update um, I hope you find it useful and like to follow along thank you for sticking until the end and see you to the next one Thank <laughs> you.